Hi guys, let's move on to the next exercise uh, in coordinate geometry and which is 26b. Before we move on, let's quickly, uh, I'm not sure if you've done this in 7th or rather 8th, but let me give this to you. So y is equal to mx plus c. This is the standard equation of a straight line. Now this will come handy in a couple of minutes, but I wanted to introduce you to this y is equal to mx plus c. What is y? y is the y coordinate, x is the x coordinate, m is something which we call the slope. Now I'll come to the slope in a minute and c is the y intercept. So I'll discuss these points in a minute, but I want you to know that y is equal to mx plus c, that's the standard equation of a straight line. Now in case my straight line is x is equal to 0. Now what is the uh, value of y in this case? Well, it is independent of the value of y. So whatever be the value of y, my value of x remains x, remains 0. So this equation will be, so let's write this, if y is equal to 0, x is 0. If y is equal to 5, x is still 0, which means the value of y does not uh, make a change to the value of x, so x remains 0. So this is x 0, whatever is the value of y, if this is the value of y, x is 0, this is the value of y, x is 0, this is still 0, here also it's still 0, here also it's still 0. So this line, which is the y axis, right, so I will draw it with different colors, you will draw it with a scale, this line is x is equal to 0 because whatever be the value of y my x remains 0 done now let's look at the next one so the next one is y is equal to 0 so y is remains 0 whatever be the value of x so if x is equal to 3 y is 0 if x is equal to 7 y is still 0 right so y remains 0 ever so this is y is equal to 0 this is x1 but y0, this is x2 but y0, this is x3 but y0, this is x negative 3 with y0. So this line which is my x axis is the line which is y equal to 0. It's a good habit to put an arrow and write the name of the equation of the write the equation of the line that you've plotted. So here like I said this is y is equal to 0 and this is x is equal to 0. Now let's look at our third one, which is x is equal to 1. Let me look at a different color. Right, so if y is equal to 3, x is equal to 1. If y is equal to negative 2, x is still equal to 1. So if y is 3, x is 1. If y is negative 2, x is still 1. So this, if y is 1, x is still 1. So this line which passes through x is equal to 1 and is parallel to the y-axis is the line x is equal to 1. You can use one graph to draw many uh, lines so that uh, we use uh, paper wisely. Let's look at the next one which is y equal to 3. So if uh, x is equal to 2, y is 3. If x is equal to 0, y is still 3. So which means 2, y is 3. x is 0, y is still 3. If x is 4, y is still 3. Which means the value of y always remains 3. And any point on this line, and since it's a line, you will notice that I have put arrows on both sides, is always y equal to 3. So this line is y equal to 3. Let's look at question number 1, part 3 of our second chap uh, second exercise, 26b, question 1, part 2, which is x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now what does this mean? This means that x is equal to negative 3, which means whatever be the value of y, x remains negative 3. So how would this line look like? So let's look at this line. So this is x is equal to 3, negative 3, whatever be the value of y. Whatever be the value of y, this line is x is equal to negative 3. And any point on this line, x will be negative 3. So I put an arrow and I write x is equal to negative 3. 
let's look at the next question 2x minus 7 is equal to 0 which means 2x is equal to 7 which means x is equal to 3.5 so whatever be the value of y x remains 3.5 so this is 3.5 whatever be the value of y x remains 3.5 so a line which is parallel to the y axis and passes through x at 3.5 is a line which is again like i said you put an arrow because this is uh, you put an arrow because this is a line and you put an arrow and write the name of the uh, or write the equation of the line that you plotted i have plotted 2x minus 7 is equal to 0 like i said on one graph you can put many lines so that we save paper and then the last one uh, here which is y is equal to 4 so when y is equal to 4 whatever will be the value of x y remains 4 so let me take another different color so y remains 4 so this is y is equal to 4 whatever be the value of x right so this is y is equal to 4 whatever be the value of x so here i draw a line parallel to the x-axis passing through y at 4 and this is the line y is equal to 4 perfect now let's move on to question number 2 question number 2 part 1 again i'll try and plot it on the same graph Question number two, part one says y is equal to 3x. So here you will make a table with values of x and y. Like I said, you can compare it with y is equal to mx, uh, y is equal to mx plus c. In this case, y is equal to 3x. So what is the value of m in this case? m is equal to 3. What is m? Let me draw this graph and then we'll get to c. And what is c in this case? In this case, it is zero, which means this is c is equal to 0 there is no element here so this is my dependent variable and x is the independent variable so let's do if x is equal to 0 y will be equal to 3 into 0 which is 0 so if i put value of x as 0 y will be equal to 0 if x is equal to let's say 2 then y will be equal to 3 into 2 which is 6 so 2 and 6 and if x is equal to negative 1 y will be equal to negative 3 so i put negative 1 and negative 3 notice that for drawing any line or any equation of a straight line you need to plot a minimum of three points i repeat minimum of three points and you will need to show your calculations on how you work those points it's a good habit to put it in the form of a table makes it very easy to look at so let's look at this x is equal to zero y is equal to zero so we are looking at this point so let me see what color should i take let me take a dark green so x is equal to zero y is equal to zero next is x is equal to two y is equal to six x is equal to two and y is equal to 6. Last one is x is equal to negative 1 and y is equal to negative 3. Perfect. So now I will take a scale and I will join these three points using a scale. You will notice that these three points make a straight line and these three points will pass through a, all three points will pass through this line. Again, it's a line which means I put arrow on both sides and what I have plotted is y is equal to 3x. Now, remember I talked about slope which is m is equal to 3. Now, is this line a straight line or is it slanted compared to the x-axis? Yes, it is slanted. So, the slant is basically the slope. Now, uh, when we do another, other diagrams, you will get to see uh, how is the slope of one line different from the slope of another line. But I hope you understand this. The slope of this line is 3. Uh, we'll come to details in a couple of minutes. We're doing question number 2, part 4, which says y is equal to x. So, if, so again, this is the dependent variable and this is my independent variable. So, if x is equal to 0, y is equal to again 0. So, 0 with 0. If x is equal to 3, y is equal to 3. If x is equal to negative 2, 
y is equal to negative 2. So let me put this in the table 3 and y is also 3. If this is negative 2, this is negative 2. So usually, like I said, you not usually, it is mandatory to take minimum of 3 points. Um, 3 is ideal to draw a line. If you draw a line with 2 points only, then you do not get marks as per ICSE board. So you, it is mandatory to draw at least or plot 3 points before you draw a line. So let's draw this line. Let me change my color to this one. So now I have negative 2 with negative 2. So that's my point. Next is 0 with 0, which is the same point as plotted earlier. And next is 3 with 3, which is this point. So let me join them using a straight line. Again, you would notice since I am not using a scale, my value may differ slightly. And this is a y equal to x. This is what I have plotted y equal to x. Now again, let me compare this with y is equal to mx plus c. In this case, y is equal to x. That's my equation. So what is the value of m here? In this case, m is 1. And c again in this also is 0. So let's look at the uh, slope of y is equal to x and y is equal to 3x. Which li line is more slanted? Which line has more slope? Yes, the line which is y is equal to 3x has more slope than the line y is equal to x. So I hope you get, uh, I try and understand and you get what does slope mean. So the closer you are to the x-axis in terms of slant, you have a less slope and the closer you are to the y-axis, then you have a more slope. So this is a slope which is increasing. Obviously in physics also we've done y is equal to 3x has more slope. Let's do at question number two, part six. That's the last question we do on this uh, already cluttered graph. So let's look at this. X is equal to 2y, which means I uh, 2y is equal to negative x. I take x on the other side, which means y is equal to negative x upon 2. So that's my equation. Y is equal to negative x upon 2. So if y is equal to 0, oh, sorry, this is the dependent variable and this is independent variable. So if x is equal to 0, y is also equal to 0. So 0 and 0. Next one, if x is equal to 2, y will be equal to negative 1. So if x is equal to 2, y is negative 1. And if x, I have less space, that's why you would notice I'm writing very small, you should write it properly. So if x is equal to, let's say, negative 2, y will be equal to negative or negative 2 that's 2 will be equal to 1 so if x is equal to negative 2 y will be equal to 1 so now let me plot these three points on this graph i will take a let's say orange color yeah i'll take the orange so 0 with 0 again passing through the same point origin next is 2 with negative 1 2 with negative 1 and the next one is negative 2 with 1 so this is negative 2 with 1 now i'll again join these three points using a scale and extend it slightly on both sides this is an arrow indicating that this is a line here i mark this as x plus 2y is equal to 0. now let me compare this equation as well y is equal to negative x upon 2 with y is equal to mx plus c. Again, c is equal to 0 because there is no element here. But what is the value of m here? In this case, value of m is negative half, negative 1 by 2. So earlier, my slope was always positive. Remember, m is equal to 3 and here it was m is equal to 1. Now, both, both of them positive here, m is negative. So let's see what does difference does it make. This line, if you look at it, which is my x plus 2y is equal to 0, is slanted in another way compared to my previous line. Let me just draw it here. The first line was slanted like this. The another line was slanted like this. And the third line is slanted in the opposite direction. So we will discuss this in detail later but keep this in mind that the slope of this line is negative and the slope of the first two lines was positive. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.